Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Real Sociedad career mode. We've played a game off camera, which was against Celta Vigo. We got a 3-1 win, and now we're up against Barcelona. And then we have Man City, so two very tough games in a row. Then we have Granada. We then have Osasuna, and then Valencia. And it's time for the window straight after that, of which we will be searching for a new right back. I think I want to replace Zaldua. Is that his name? I just want to make sure I'm getting the names right because sometimes I get them wrong. Yep, yeah, it is Zaldua. So he will be leaving in January and we will replace him with a player that is around the same quality. I do not want to sign a new right back that's going to replace Tavares. He is my guy. I love Tavares. 81 rated already. He's just an absolute beast. 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 defending. I mean, his physical and his passing could be a lot better, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. He, he plays so well, so I don't want to replace him. We will be bringing someone in that can come on to the bench here and replace Zaldua, literally like for like. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing anything else. You know, I'm really happy with the squad. It just depends on who's available, I guess. And whether we get offers for players. I don't know, there's a few other players that I would potentially listen to offers for. Jose, William Jose, Yanazai, um, Zabeldia is another player that... Mm, I, 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 I rate him as in stats-wise, he's really good. He's only 23 as well. Um, but he doesn't play very well. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, we've got McKenny. He's so much better than him. So, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of things that could happen. But really, I'm only expecting one change. And that will be a new right back coming in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Barcelona game right now. And um, let's see if we can get a good performance out of the team. After an insane day yesterday with Arsenal being back, we did the, did the, the watch along stream on Twitch, which was amazing. And of course, I did Operation Arsenal as well. It was just so much fun. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. Yesterday was one of the best days I've had in a long time. I think, I mean, I'm really enjoying this career mode, but FIFA in general at this time of year just gets a little bit grindy, you know? And I can, I can kind of feel like I'm maybe a couple of weeks away from a bit of a burnout, you know? I'm, I'm going to really enjoy the final two seasons of this series. And then maybe take a small break, maybe do some football manager. I, I don't know. I like to keep you guys in the loop. You know, I'm always really honest with you guys. I am enjoying this. You know, this career mode is good fun. I love the team I've built. Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 Come on, Messi. Give me, give me a break, man. Give me a chance. Okay. <laughs> what a goal that was. But yeah, just keeping you guys in the loop. Like, I'm enjoying this career mode, but I think um, after this... After this series, maybe I will take a small little break from FIFA and then return with the uh, the Berry takeover, MGH United, or a Serie A career mode. I, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, just like watching the football and then talking about the football and doing a video on the football and streaming over the football. It was just so much fun. It was so different because obviously I haven't been doing that for months now. And then it's like, oh, today I've got to log back into FIFA and play games. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel it. It's probably coming soon that I need to take a break. I think what might help me is not playing every single game. You've noticed probably in the last few episodes, I've done a little bit of simulation here and there, um, which, you know, thankfully my team's quite strong, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I think that will help me though. You know, for example, I kind of want to get into the January transfer window in this episode, so I might play this game and then City. Oh, for... Ooh, okay, that was close. But I'll play these two and then maybe I'll simulate the next three. Something like that. Um, it'll just keep me more sane, not playing every single game and making the series last forever, you know. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Let's try and find a through ball here. Nope, that's going to be a foul. Okay, this is a good position for a free kick. The question is, is how can I how can I do it? Let's try and get a bit of spin on this one from Erdegaard. Go on. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it could have been a lot better. Heading into the last few moments here of this first half. Not been the best performance so far, but we can still make something happen. Marino going for it. Look at him go. Still going. Over on the left side here for Porto. Ah, oh, I took too much time on the ball there. But that's half time. And I was just thinking I should probably go into the MGH United Discord and ask for right back suggestions. So I might go ahead and do that as soon as this game's finished. And ask them for their, uh, their feedback. And that way 
I can have a few players shortlisted straight away before the window even opens, and then I can scout them and see their ratings. Um, just a reminder, if you want to get into the MGH United Discord and help make decisions in the club council, all you need to do is subscribe on Twitch when I'm streaming. It'd be great. I can give, you a, give your name a shout out and thank you for it. Or you can pledge on Patreon as well. Oh, Messi probably should have scored there. But the links are down below if you want to get involved. We do lots of uh, behind the scenes content on Discord as well. And um, yeah, we've got a nice little community going there. I'm keeping a close eye on Griezmann to see how he gets on. He is a target of mine. I would quite like to bring Griezmann back to Real Sociedad maybe next season. You know, Jovic is going to go back to Real Madrid. I've already mentioned that maybe Griezmann is a good replacement. I, I don't know. Or we actually buy Jovic, although he'll probably cost 100 million or something stupid like that. I think Griezmann will be uh, a little bit cheaper. But honestly, guys, this game is going very quickly and I'm not doing enough here to get a draw. Wait, what? Zakaria, what did you just do? I'll take it. Go on, Jovic. He's in behind. It's not a good ball, though. Into the box. Erdegaard's there. No to Stegen. Why are you so damn good in this game? This could be bad. Here's De Jong. He's so damn tricky to try and defend against. Dembele puts it wide. Probably should have done better there. Right, we've got changes to be made now. I'm going to take off Dominguez and bring in McKenney. Erdegaard for Zaracho, and then the big boy Isaac's going to come on up top. We've got 15 minutes to try and find an equaliser here, but the reality is, guys, even a draw, it's not really great. We're struggling to keep with the top four at the moment. It's a shame because we made such a good start this season, but it's kind of fallen apart recently, and that's a foul, surely. We'll play on. We've got it still. Here's Isaac. Zaracho in behind. Surely. Finesse it. No! I've, I've missed it. Oh, my God. It was so close as well. It, it really, really should have been one all. I'm going to be absolutely gutted if we lose this now. As they bring on Coutinho. God, they just get stronger. This might be one of my last chances. Is he offside? No, he's on. Zaracho. Into Isaac. No. To Stegen again. I'm passing this one short. Because Gaia has a wicked cross on him. Isaac couldn't win the header. This isn't fair, man. This isn't going to plan at all. Oh, McKenney Into Isaac. With the dummy. Finish it. No, he's he's been... He got pushed. He got barged into. And that's going to be game over. Wow. Oh, <laughs> don't get me started. It's another loss. Barcelona have beaten us. But I think a draw would have been more than fair. We had some great chances in this game. I don't know how we haven't scored. And we all know Atletico Madrid have won because they don't lose. Real Madrid probably won as well. Yanazai, what's he got to say? Um, I hope you, I can repay your faith. I mean, to be fair, he hasn't been too bad recently. I said I want to use him more. Um, and I definitely have been in the Champions League at least. But... Uh, I don't know if he's ever going to be quite what I'm looking for. Poor old Yanazai. But anyway, as you can see, guys, we have already qualified. We are going through to the next stage. It's just now, should we try and get first place or second place? Um, I wish it could tell you which group you're going to meet up with. That would be, or group leaders, I should say, that you're going to meet up with. That'd be really handy. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling, though, if we do finish him first, we will get an easier opponent. But you just don't know. Um, we're going to play it because I really would like to finish this group stage unbeaten. And of course, Man City are a tough team to play against. It's going to be a challenge. Let's jump into the game. Not really a big fan of Man City right now after yesterday. No, that's not true, man. They, they deserve to win. Of course they did. They were just... They are a different level, not just last night. Amazing team, man. But I'm not bitter. I'm not salty. I haven't been thinking about it all night and then all morning. Nope, definitely not. I've got to beat them. Come on, I've got to beat Man City now. Do you guys remember earlier in the season when I said that Varane had been sold? Um, turns out, because we didn't we didn't see who he went to, he's at Man City. He's playing in their defence. So that's fun. You can see there Varane in the red boots. Try and get a ball over the top here. That's not going to be quite enough. Yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult. They've got Laporte and Varane next to each other. Two incredible centre-backs. And then look at their front. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? It really is. They're so, so kitted out with players. But here is Oyarzabal. 
Oh, he's on. Please be on. Varane's made the mistake. You know we're sweating this one out. Okay. 1-0 up. And actually, after praising how strong their defensive, they their defense is, they've actually made the mistake that's caused them to go 1-0 down. And it's going to be Baron Achea as well. Big game for him, but Isaac felt so slow there. I almost ran out of time. Varane was chasing back, of course. He's lightning quick, but yeah. 1-0 against Man City. I'm going to need a few more goals, though, I think. Corner for City here. De Bruyne with a pretty nice delivery, but we've done well to get rid of it. Oh, no. Here is De Bruyne again into Bernardo Silva. Back to De Bruyne. Back to Bernardo Silva. Back to De Bruyne. He gets the shot away. It's saved. And Pau Torres. He's taller than Aguero. That helped. Oh, hello. Oh, over the top. Oh, we're in. Behind Angelino. Come on, Ayazabal. Come on. Yes. No. We've still got it. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, my God. How did I get nothing from that attack? Raheem Sterling with his 110 sprint speed. <laughs> He's so quick. It's a joke, man. He's going to give that back to Angelino. Here comes the cross. Please get that out. Oh, no. Anyone but De Bruyne in the box. Well, actually, no. Anyone but Aguero, really. To be fair, nine out of their 11 players could be in the box. And I'd be really worried about it. Including Edison. Man, what a player he is. Jeez, that was close. Two minutes added on here. Don't concede now. Right, okay. Well defended, that one. That was a quick two minutes. Right, okay. We're winning. Can you believe it? We're beating Man City. We've got 45 minutes left to get first place. Would I get first place if I draw? I don't think so. It goes off head to head. Oh, maybe it'd be goal difference because we've had the same results roughly. I don't know. I haven't looked at the table, but uh, right now we're in the lead and that means we're going to get an easier team, right? I guarantee you when we, let's say we go on to win this game and I get top of the group, I bet you we end up with a harder, harder uh, draw than Man City get. You can just guarantee it. It's going to happen, isn't it? Looks like they've made a change, though. They have indeed. Parejo comes out and Alon. Alon. Al Alan. I mean, I don't really think it's Alan. He's not English. He's Brazilian, isn't he? But he's come on. He's a good player. Try and find that pass through. Here is Oyarzabal. Back into Erdegaard. Oh, hello. Erdegaard's in. How has he done that? No. How has he done that? Varane's legs were literally wrapped around Erdegaard there. That sounds a bit wrong, but that was an incredible goal. This kid is just insane. So, so good in FIFA 20. But so Yazabal will get the assist. Let's have a look at this tackle from Varane. Nine times out of ten, he gets the ball there. I, I don't really know how I've got away with that. I think it would have been a penalty if it had not gone in. And probably a red card would I have taken. Ooh, actually... I would actually rather the penalty and a red card, I think, because no Varane would be massive. Look at the possession. Oh, my God. 66% for Man City. <laughs> I've barely touched the ball, but I'm winning 2-0. They just brought on uh, Partey, by the way. They've taken off Rodri. Oh, no. Oh, okay. De Bruyne makes it 2-1. <laughs> They're not even celebrating with him. How long has this game been out and they still haven't fixed that? Uh, whatever. But yeah, they've, they've brought on Partey. How many midfielders have they bought? Ridiculous, isn't it? Right, okay. We really need to focus now. We've got a little bit of time left in this game to defend this. And I would rather the full-time whistle just kind of went now. I give up. I give up. What is that? And <laughs> What is De Bruyne doing? He's like, come on, let's go play. Come on. And he's... What are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> anyway, um, our 2-0 lead is gone. Just like that. Oh, man, what a, what a player De Bruyne is. This is bad. Um, we'll make a change. I think we need to go a bit more attacking, don't we? Uh, do you know what? What have I got to lose? Take out Marino, bring in Zaracho. Erdegaard can play as a left centre mid. Um, actually, no. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to go with a super pacey midfield. 87 pace, 88 pace, 96 pace. That is disgusting. Jovic will also come on. And 
Portu, I guess. Whenever I've brought Portu on, his pace is just a nightmare for any team to deal with. He's so quick. It's because he's so agile as well. It's not just sprint speed that makes you feel quick in this game. Look, look at him go. What are you meant to do? Come on. Nope. Oh, play on. Just, just play on. Nope. We're going to get a yellow card for Cancelo, though. Wait, what? Not even a yellow. Sure, mate. Okay, right. I want to I wanna play this one short, really. I'm going to do it. Edge of the box. For De La Cruz. It's on his left foot. He's right-footed. Okay, we've still got 12 minutes. Even though I just wasted that. Oh, oh. Oh, Varane, you're too strong. Varane's too strong. He made a mistake again, but recovered. This is it. Come on. Push forward. Oh, Tavares has made a good run. Oh, run, Tavares. Yes. Oh, yeah, about in the box now for Jovic. Finish it. No. You're kidding me. That was his first touch. Jovic, for the first time in this game, touches the ball and it's almost a goal. Absolutely gutted, mate. And it's ah oh, poor, poor touch from Sterling there. Come on. Two minutes left. This is our last chance. And I've given it away. Cool. Good job, Matt. Great job. Oh, Gordon Diaz. Oh, my God. Oh, we got it again. Just get it up to uh, Jovic. Flick that on. Oh, that's it. Game over. Well done, City. They get the draw, and I think that means they will finish top. I don't know. Maybe it'll go down to goal difference, and I've got a good chance, if so, because we absolutely obliterated Monaco not so long ago. So let's find out where we are. Let's take a look then. And, ah, oh, what? I can't believe that. We scored more goals, but we conceded more. I mean, we had the same goal difference. So I, I guess it's gone down to head to head. I don't even know, man. This is not fair. <laughs> Let me win the group. Give, give me the edge. Oh, that's so frustrating. Well, we'll find out very soon who we'll be facing. Let's have a look at our potential um, opposition. So we've got Juventus, Bayern, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Dortmund, Barcelona. Wait, that's the... Oh, my... It's going to be one of those. Because we'll be facing someone who won their group, right? That's how this works. Um, other teams going through, though. Paris, Lazio, Inter, RB Leipzig, Man United, Napoli, Leverkusen. Okay. Well, that's going to be an interesting one. Whoever we get, though, we just have to try our best. This is season two. The real progress will be made in season three. Time now for the second team to take on Granada. And it's a 2-0 win. Look at that. Even though Dela Cruz got sent off just after halftime, Yanazai managed to win us the game himself with two goals. Nice. Good result, that. I'm also continuously doing training to Lenormand and Muna Munoz during these games. And they're doing quite well. Lenormand's actually gone up to 78 now. Up next, we've got Osasuna. Um... I think it was Sevilla after that, wasn't it? Or Valencia. So I'll save the uh, the first team for that game. We'll use the second team again here, which is selected. Now, please do me a favor and do not get injuries or red cards. Come on. Give us a win as well. 4-0. Okay, fantastic. No injuries. Yanazai with three. Oh, my God. This this guy wants to play bad. He really wants to get in the get in the team. Maybe I should be using him more. Three goals. A hat trick against Osasuna. Isaac as well getting a goal. But, man, Yanazai, that's probably like a, a nine or a ten out of ten. Jeez. Okay. Now we go back to the first team, which is fully fit for the game against Valencia. Here is the table just before we go into the game. So we're in the top four. We are four points behind Real Madrid, five points behind Barcelona. But Atletico Madrid have won every single game. You can't tell me that this system isn't broken. That That is so unbelievably unrealistic. And it happens in pretty much every league. I think, unfortunately, just like in the Sunderland career mode, I'm just not going to be able to win the league unless I win pretty much every game, which is just silly, really, if you think about it. So as depressing as it sounds, I just don't think I'm going to be able to achieve the ultimate goal for myself, which is to be the winner of La Liga. I think we can maybe come very close, but it's just, it, they're too good. Looks like they are playing a 4-4-2 and a 1-0 win. Okay, but an injury. Well, I'm glad we've won. That's the main thing. But Diaz, oh, please don't be serious. Please don't be serious. Six weeks. I mean, 
It's not great, but it's not too bad. And Yanazai, in fairness to the guy, I'll consider your request because you have been on fire for us. But that was a good win. We've got training again now. And uh, I've just checked my Discord. We've got some very good suggestions for right backs. So thank you to the club council. We are now going to go into the transfer window and have a look at these players. Another really good week of training here. Two A's for Le Normand and an F. And then an A and a B for Munoz. Not too bad. They are slowly but surely growing. Oh, look at this. Real Sociedad board. Just wanted to thank you for helping the club reach one of its brand exposure. Wow, 150 million from shirt sales. I'm actually interested to see which three players are the uh, the highest selling shirts. Let's try and guess. I'm guessing it's probably Erdegaard or Yarzabal and Diaz maybe because we signed him. Let's have a look here. Office, finances, um, transactions, player shirt sales. Erdegaard or Yarzabal and Jovic. Three million shirts sold. Whoa, that is a lot. I mean, I never really look at all this stuff. But uh, anyway, while we're here, here is the budget. We have 24 million, roughly, to spend on a right back. We're not quite in the window just yet, so let's go a few more days. There was one player that we almost bought at the start of the season. We decided to go with Tavares instead. And the other player was Emerson. I completely forgot about the guy. So we're going to look at him again. Le Normand is up to 79 there, which is good to see, even though he didn't do so well that week in training. So we've got some scout reports back on some players here. Um, thank you again to the club council in Discord. We've got some really good suggestions. I've kept three of them. And they are um, Oriello Buta. I've actually not used him before. Looks insane. Look at his stats. And then we've got Emerson, who of course has the face mod, which is always an added bonus. Also a very good player. 79 rated. And we've got... Wakim Marler. I'm not sure how to pronounce this guy's name. Um, also ridiculously good. So we've got three very, very good options. So let's take a look at their summary and use that to kind of base my decision on. So defensively, 73, 75, 73. So Emerson is the best defensively. Um, passing, it's very close, but uh, Marler is the best. Shooting, Emerson and Buta are considerably better. Athleticism, Buta's the best. How have I not seen this guy before? I'm guessing he is... I don't think he starts at Sevilla. I'm guessing they've signed him, but he's kind of... I don't want to say glitched, but he's gone to an insane potential using the dynamic system that they've put in the game. So um, I've not really seen him before. He looks like he could be a very good player. Um yeah, you can see they actually bought him. I can see at the bottom there. So this team will not sell this player, but we can negotiate with him directly if he pays release clause. 16.3 million. Um, unfortunately, Emerson does not have a release clause. He'll be more expensive. Um, probably the entirety of our budget will be gone. And same with Marla. I'm actually quite tempted to go with Buta just because he's cheaper and I've never used him before. And his stats are ridiculous. Look at that. 97 acceleration and sprint speed. His stamina is 92. His tackling's really good. His dribbling, his crossing, also very good. I think, I think I'd go with him. I mean, it'd be mad not to at this point. I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. We're paying the release clause and we're signing him up. Let's go ahead and jump into the negotiations right now. And of course, he will be um, coming in and replacing Zaldua, who we need to sell. So he's on 16,500 right now. We're going to put him on rotation. Is is that going to work? Yep. Okay, that will work. Nice. And this time, don't worry, I'm not going to screw up and give him a 20 million release clause. Um, we'll go with a four-year contract. That's fine. We're not going to be here that long. So let's do that. Um, proposal release clause. We're going to go in with a solid 40 million, I think. See if he'll accept it. And yep, they're happy with that. And he doesn't want much more money than he was already on. So this is easy. We're going to go and remove the bonus. I'm going to give him 20,000. And a little bit more on the signing bonus. Because we removed the other bonus. Let's see if he'll accept it. And boom. Just like that. Right back sorted. We're in the trans window for five seconds. And it's already, it's already done. I think we'll go with Emerson in a different career mode. Using that face mod. And maybe Wakim Mahler in FIFA 21 at some point. I do like to use... As many different talents as I can. 
instead of using the same ones over and over again. And that's actually why I've signed this guy because I don't actually, I don't know what his potential is meant to be, but my God, what a beast. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Zaldua, you are replaced. See you later, mate. Let's go ahead and try and sell him now. I'm going to give the new guy 24. Tavares can then have number two. I think that's fair enough. He's the first team player. And then, of course, Zaldua will be sold. So add to transfer list. I don't know how much we're going to get for him, but he's worth 9 million. He's got a release clause of around 20. So if I can sell him for around 14, 15 million, I will be very happy with that. But honestly, I'm so happy. Two Portuguese right backs in the club. Love it. I'm glad you've decided to sell me. I haven't been all that keen to play here. I mean, just because you got benched by a literal child, you don't have to be so salty about it, mate. You're, you're just not very good. Um, <laughs> I'm quite tempted to say good riddance. See you later, mate. I don't. I honestly don't care. That's rude. I haven't been all that keen to play here. Who would say that? I'm sorry, but you can just say, oh, I appreciate that you've considered playing me and it hasn't quite worked out. You know, maybe it is best that I leave. Why do you have to be such an idiot? about it but uh anyway we haven't had any offers come in for him yet we will see in the next episode we do have the super copper uh semi-finals against barcelona at the beginning of the next episode and uh, we'll also find out who we've got in the champions league next round of which by the way is going to be horrible because you saw the clubs that we could get but after the Barcelona game, we've got Malaga, Villarreal, and then Levante. I don't know if anything else is going to happen regarding signings or, or players being sold. As always, you can leave your comments down below. Or if you're in the Discord, you can just at me and tell me if you think there's a player I need to sell. Maybe you, you guys think that I've got someone in the team that shouldn't um, and doesn't deserve to be there. We've got quite a few players that maybe could go but I don't know just because it's the window doesn't mean we have to make big changes we've done what we needed to do bringing in a new right back and he looks awesome but thank you so much for watching guys hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you for the next one very soon